of a million visitors come here every year and you can see why. So confirmation of that victory for Akali Yenaguchi, two love. In games over Malvika Bansod. So first blow in this quarter-final struck by the Japanese. And the officials just coming on court ahead of our second match, which is the first of the doubles. Got to say that Krasto and Panda, the Indian pair we're going to see momentarily, really played well so far. Two of those three wins have come here. The Japanese mix and match their, their doubles players, so don't put too much thought by the fact that Fukushima and Matsumoto two duck eggs there. So here come the two Japanese. And the Indians following suit with the 18 year old Crasto partnering Panda, who's four years her senior. Great to see the youngsters here this week as well. Black or red? Black for you, red for you. Great. Derby to reserve, you keep the serve. Time to receive. Okay? Good luck. Which side? Okay. So let's give you some information on some of these players then. So we start with Yuki Fukushima. Twenty-eight years of age. Has been uh, the world number one when partnered with uh, Sayaka Hirata. They won three world championship silver medals and 11 major titles as well, including the All England last year in 2020. And Mei Matsumoto, 26 years of age. Olympic gold medalist, of course, in Rio with uh, Ayaka Takahashi. And also formerly ranked at one when she was playing with uh, Wakana Nagahara. So, two top class doubles players. Full set of Uva Cup medals, actually, she's got. Gold in 2018, a silver and a couple of bronze. First time they've been paired together in this event. Matsumoto has played with Matsuyama. And Fukushima's played with Fukushino. So it's not like they haven't been involved. There's Tanisha Presto, just at 18. Wouldn't put too much store on that uh, ranking. Born in Dubai, she actually represented Bahrain for three years until 2016. Parents from Goa, so that's how she qualifies and her partner. Ruta Pana Panda, first selected for India at the 2018 Asian Games as a teenager, 22 now. Ready to play? Yeah. 
and one that opener against Spain and against Scotland, and we did play against Thailand. Ivo Castle of Switzerland is in the umpire's chair, and he will be supported by service judge Janine Kurtzia. Well, Japanese fans will be happy enough after that opening match win for Akane Yamaguchi. Surprise and get themselves back into this tie. Absolutely, I've had no Fukushima and Matsumoto. I don't think the fact that they've not played together as a pair really is an issue. Both unbelievably competent and very experienced doubles players. Should be an easy put away and was. to miss by that much from that range. One, three. So crash them panda on the board. Line as well. Two, three. approach the Indian pair, haven't they? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Playing exclusively with Fukushima in that rally. Four, three. 
Unexpected error for Fukushima. The fact that they have won two out of two, Krasto and Panda, should give them a fillip of confidence, albeit this is a, a level up in terms of the opposition. Great get that. That really was a brilliant get from Matsumoto. Fukushima and Matsumoto early here will uh, give the Indian pair a little bit of hope and a bit of heart. Fasto's power doing some damage from the back of the court as well. Yeah, that's probably the first real shot in anger that Matsumoto has played. Saw an unguarded area of the court and found it. Not like Cresto and Panda, a vastly experienced pair either. But they have at least played together this week. That was a, a wild one from Cresto. Well, they got lucky there, the Japanese pair, because I think Fukushima was waiting for uh, Matsumoto to play that at previous point. Got away with it. It's amazing, isn't it, how cream rises to the top all of a sudden. They've got a four-point advantage. The Japanese. So quick. Matsumoto to get across there at the net. See the opportunity and pounce. So a handy lead at the interval for the Japanese pair. Okay. Play. 
Came at a slightly awkward height. Quite know how to sort of rack it out. In the end, pushed it rather tamely into the net. That's a really good lead. She, she had the time to think about it. Excellent for Fukushima. It's going to be challenged, though. I should ask the service judge because she was, she was right next to it virtually. Yeah, it was out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Turkey. Just, you sense that maybe the Indian pair are beginning to lose a little heart. Understandable. You look across at the scoreboard, you look across the other side of the net and see Fukushima and Matsumoto. It's got to keep believing. One point at a time will be the, the mantra, or should be. How good was that? Longest rally of the match. Problem for those two was that, like most of the rallies, point went to their opponents. So quick to see the opportunity and Sumoto to move in. And you can see they're, they're wondering about whether they're in the right place on the court. Not sure there was much they could have done about that, truth to tell. of a procession hasn't it over the last few minutes get to the point if you're Tanisha Cresto or Ruta Panda that you wonder where the next point's coming from yeah. 
imagine you know, in their minds this game has gone, but more competitive in the next one. 18, Finding gaps everywhere now, and here are 14 game points for Fukushima and Matsumoto. Yeah, we're starting to completely outclass the two young Indians here. Oh, that's a better shot. Just delay, delaying the inevitable you feel at the moment. I'm trying to get to double figures and a show of respectability. Can't do it though, so 21 points to 8 in a pretty one-sided opening game, truth to tell. First blood, Japan. Massive test then coming up for the two Indians. Plain sailing so far. Yeah. 
just having difficulty controlling those fierce shots, aren't they? Yeah, they, have, they are challenging. This was called in. So Hawkeye on the case here. It was out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two love. Play. Just can't give her opportunities from that range. That's the motor's gonna hammer anything in that arc. Smiles coming from the Japanese side of the net. And it's just getting a little more frustrating for both Panda and Crasto at the moment. Just can't find a way to get into this match at all. So let's see about this challenge. Did it clip the line? It did. It certainly did. So no more challenges. Uh, never rains, but it pours for the two Indians here. They're on the board. It will make them feel a lot better. One, six. That's in. That was good. Japan Although Japan will all kind of have a look at it this time. Well, I guess they may as well. It'd be seriously anticlimactic if, if this does get overturned, just when India thought, the Indian pair thought that they'd uh, got a little run going of two straight points. Was it in? It was not.
No challenge required on that one. Well, it's good to see that the Indian pair keep it going, trying not to let the one-sided nature of the score affect them. The longer they can keep this match going, the more they'll gain an experience from having played in it. There's a delicacy of shot there that comes from years of experience as well as the technique. They're just working the opportunity, getting the opponent's pen back at the back of the court and then producing that marvellous stuff. Must be a, a distinctly demoralising feeling at the moment for Crestone Panda. No disgrace in being well behind two two players of this quality in Fukushima and Matsumoto. So quick to react, Fukushima. 11-3 then at the interval. Well, it seems now only a matter of time before these two increase Japan's lead to two luck.
Every point is a little tick mark, isn't it, in the, in the column progress. Every point. I think the first aim would be to try and get more than the end points that they got in the opening game. Good reach that by Panda. I think he's saying, yeah. It is a fault anyway, so I have to take it. 12. Just explaining four. to the two Indians. Play. That's when it's not your day, it's not going to be your day. Precision, absolute precision. Well, that's a collector's item. Samoso with the service error. Maybe expecting uh, the flicker then, get it. She was taken a little unawares by that serve. Bit of uh, anger in that. It's been clawed by a panda. Deception. Two Indians both back on their heels. Certainly not expecting that.
Well, I think that came a bit off the frame from Matsumoto, it didn't matter. Seven. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> you can see from her reaction it wasn't a clean hit. Uh, no pictures, only numbers, and it's 16 7. Working so hard, every point they win, it's a, it's a serious struggle, isn't it? A little bit of good fortune there with the net cord. I don't think anyone's going to begrudge them that. Okay. It's that right ankle. Yeah, just well, that was weird. It kind of just seemed to give way. She just slipped a bit, but it's a strange one. Well, the way that the score line is, if she's got a problem with that, and she's first of all got a problem on doing the knot, but if she's got a problem with that ankle, you you'd wonder about the wisdom of carrying on, to be honest. I mean, they're only four points away from victory, the Japanese pair. Let's see what the medical advice is here. A bit of magic spray. I don't know what they put on that. It used to be the old bucket and sponge in the old days, didn't it? Now we've advanced to the magic spray. Looks like she does want to carry on. Seems to be okay now. Okay. I'll set to continue. 17 8 the score. Think Fushima serving. I think Fushima missing. Well, 
Well, you heard the clash of rackets earlier in the point when Matsumoto and Fukushima went for the same shuffle, but it didn't matter in the end in that rally. Beautifully found the corner at 11 match points now for the Japanese pair. figures which is something of an achievement also beaten their points total from the first game all these little milestones matter I think to these two young Indians still 10 match points though for Japan and one's all they need 21 10 that second game finishes and that is now two love in the tie to Japan. They just need one more victory to confirm their place in tomorrow's semi finals. Forty one minutes on court. And with a minimum of fuss really from Matsumoto and Fukushima. A victory that was never really in any kind of doubt. Ending really from the Indian pair's point of view. Based the fact that they were completely outclassed by two exceptional doubles players. And they're pretty happy, and why shouldn't they be? So the doubles players will make way and uh, we will soon be on to our third match of this tie which is the second singles and when you looked at these matches on paper this is the one i think india have the best chance of winning still be a massive ask for young aditi bat but she's been brilliant this week the 18 year old taking on the world number 15 sayaka takahashi that's next
Well, a warm welcome back to Aarhus. Here's an aerial view of the town. That is the tallest cathedral in the whole of Denmark. It's a magnificent structure too, especially when you see it from the air like that. Around about 300,000 people live in Aarhus. It's nearly a million if you add in the greater Aarhus area. Second biggest city in Denmark after Copenhagen.